today we will be starting on a new subject on intelligent control. The subject is on fuzzy control, this is the model 4. So, we will be having first lecture on this model on fuzzy control. Before we go in depth how to design fuzzy controllers, we will have a review today. The topics that we will be covering today are fuzzy logic controllers, Mamdani type, Takagi Sugeno type, some important works in Mamdani type of FLC, fuzzy PDPI PID controller, fuzzy Lyapunov controller, parameter optimization, some important works in Takagi Sugeno type of FLC, fuzzy controller with common input matrix, linear controller with robust control approach, fuzzy controller using a lama techniques. Mainly two types of fuzzy logic based controllers are available in the literature. First is Mamdani type of fuzzy logic controller. Mamdani type of fuzzy logic controllers are direct adaptive type where controllers are designed directly based on the fuzzy rule base. Explicit, explicit system identification is not done in this case. Whereas, Takagi Sugeno type fuzzy logic controllers, they are normally indirect adaptive type fuzzy logic controller, where the system to be controlled is identified using T S fuzzy model and the controller is designed based on the identified model. So, a Mamdani type of fuzzy logic controller would look like this. You have a process, sensors, crisp to fuzzy interface fuzzification. So, process sensors means the process output or feedback through sensors. So, whatever the feedback is actually crisp value. So, we have a fuzzification model that converts crisp to fuzzy uh, variable from crisp variable to fuzzy variable. So, you have fuzzification and then they have a fuzzy rule base using uh, the fuzzy linguistic variables that is used in the rule base and the present uh, status of the process in terms of linguistic variable you have a inference mechanism or rule evaluation uh, which actually tells us in fuzzy a uh, linguistic variable what should be the control action and that control action is defuzzified to get a crisp control action and is fed to actuator to back to the process and this is a Mamdani type of fuzzy logic controller. Here the, the main uh, heart of this controller is this fuzzy rule base. So, maximum research in Mamdani type of fuzzy logic controller is regarding fuzzy rule base. How do we uh, uh, generate the rule base? How do we optimize the parameters of the rule base? because controller is is simply expressed in terms of a fuzzy rule base. Okay. So, some important works are as you know that Jade is the uh, founder of fuzzy logic concepts. A fuzzy algorithmic approach to the definition of complex or imprecise concepts, International Journal of Man Machine Studies uh, 1976. Uh, Mamdani is the pioneer in terms of uh, proposing the fuzzy logic controller and that is why uh, the, the direct adaptive type of uh, fuzzy logic controllers are Mamdani type. Application of fuzzy algorithms for the control of a dynamic plant proceeding site volume 121 number 12 uh, 1974. Kikat and Mamdani analysis of a fuzzy logic controller, fuzzy sets and systems, volume 1, 1978. C. C. Lee fuzzy logic in control systems, this is actually a survey paper, fuzzy logic controllers part 1 and part 2, IEEE transaction systems man cybernetics, volume 20, number 2, uh, this is in 1990. This paper I would recommend to all of you 
to study. Now also it is a, of course, uh, this paper is basically Mamdani type of controllers. You will not get anything about uh, TS Fuzzy model in this paper. Uh, Mizumoto realization of PID controller by fuzzy control methods, fuzzy sets and systems, volume 70, 1995. So, as I said you, uh, the research issues uh, is always uh, formation of the rule base. How do we form various rules? So, the, the papers that, uh, that would be uh, worth noting or you should go in details among them. They are you see that Man, Bao, Gang, Hu uh, and uh, Gojin analysis of direct action for the PID controller structures. Uh, this is uh, published in uh, 99. Uh, Lopez uh, and Martin a simplified version of Mamdani's fuzzy controller, the natural logic controller IEEE transaction fuzzy systems, volume 14 number 1, uh, two, uh, 2006. Uh, Margaliet and Langholz fuzzy Lyapno based approach to design fuzzy controller. This is, uh, this is something that we will be focusing in our future classes how to design uh, rule base using Lyapunov based function or Lyapunov based approach fuzzy sets and systems volume 106 uh, in 1999. Uh, parameter optimization this is another research issue parameter optimization of fuzzy rule base uh, membership functions the parameters uh, that are contained in a fuzzy logic controller car and gizantry fuzzy control of pH uh, uh, using genetic algorithm, IEEE transaction fuzzy systems volume 1 number 1 93. Homefar and McCormick simultaneous design of membership function and rule search for fuzzy control using genetic algorithm. This is IEEE transaction fuzzy system volume 3 number 2 1995. Uh, this is our one of our own work Sastri, Behera, Nagarat. Differential evolution based fuzzy logic controller for nonlinear process control, Fundamenta Informatica 1999. Uh, this, this here also we use another technique called differential evolution uh, to uh, par optimize the parameters of a fuzzy logic controller, and we have implemented to a pH reactor in real time. Uh, the, so, as I said, uh, the rule based formation they can be done in three types. One is the using the, the, the idea of PIPD PID control, uh, controller response if general the, the, the generic idea that we have how a PIPD PID controller would uh, the normal response would look, li look like. The another one is that fuzzy Lyapunov concept fuzzy Lyapunov controller concept here the rule base is formed using uh, stability notion and uh, self organizing rule base where all the parameters uh, of the fuzzy logic controller are uh, are generated using the optimization concept. Now, let us uh, look at uh, the fuzzy PI PD PID controller how this would behave you know, the normal uh, the rule base is formed. You see that uh, this is our general characteristics of a uh, response of a system uh, means we would, we would like a system given a, a step command that a st system is at the origin and we give a step command uh, unity step command 1 then we would like to like our system should behave like this. Uh, this is we know that and uh, what we would like that uh, can we now guess our rules such that our system would follow a behavior of this kind. Okay. Let us denote the error change in error as E and E dot and control input as U respectively. Looking at the output response curve the following rules can be formed. 
if E is large error and E dot is change in error is, uh, is small, it can be small, it can be also medium, then U is large. So, if E is uh, medium, the error is medium and the derivative of the error is uh, medium, then change action, control action is medium. Okay. This is a, a PD type of uh, controller. If error is small and change in error is large, then U is negative small. That means, my control action should be negative, so that the overshoot should not be there. Okay. So, fuzzy P I P I D controller. So, this is how the rules are generated for P D P I D type of controller this this is the uh, this is how the uh, fuzzy P I P I D controller rules are generated using the, the normal notion how normal normal notion of a response of a system to a unity step command. Okay. Now, the the normal uh, type or uh, structure of the controller would be in case of a P I D controller I write the uh, control uh, equation as the present control action is the previous control action plus incremental change in control action and this incremental change in control action is computed from the rule base. Whereas, if it is a fuzzy P D controller the control input u is directly computed from the rule base. So, in a general a fuzzy logic controller the control objective is to design a fuzzy controller using information based on some physical intuition even if the exact system dynamics is not known, but the main problem is constructing the rule base for the controller. In general Mamdani type of fuzzy logic control the rule base is obtained using the notion of classical PDP IPID controller, but in fuzzy Lyapunov control the rule base is formed using the notion of Lyapunov stability. So, what is Lyapunov stability? The Lyapunov stability is the general single input single output nonlinear system x dot f x u is Lyapunov stable around the operating point x equal to 0, if there exists a continuously differentiable function v x known as a Lyapunov function such that the following requirements are met. V x is positive definite in the neighborhood of the origin and v dot x the rate derivative of the Lyapunov function is negative definite in the neighborhood of origin. So, for the Lyapunov controller assume that the exact system model is unknown, but we have some partial knowledge about the system. So, then in as in classical case we consider a Lyapunov function candidate v derive an expression for its derivative then obtain the fuzzy rule base for the control input u, so that v dot is negative definite everything is qualitative I will just show you how it is. Based on the rule base a fuzzy controller u is obtained using general inference mechanism and defuzzification method. I will just explain to you now. So, you see that uh, we will take two different structures of the controller for rule base formation. Uh, first is representation 1 if I say the my F L C rule looks like this, if x 1 is a 1 and or a and or x 2 is a 2, so on and or or x n is a n, then my control action is v, where a i s and v are linguistic variables like large and small. Whereas, in representation 2, I say if x 1 is a 1 and or, or x 2 is a 2 and or, or x n is a n then u is a function of x 1, x 2 and x n where f is a linear function. Okay. So, you see that in this uh, uh, I will just show you. So, what I am trying to tell you here is that I take these two types of I would I would like to generate either of these two types of rules okay. and how do I generate this type of rules? How do I define a 1 and a 2 a priori right. So, this can be done in a very simple manner. Let us think of a single link manipulator. This is my motor, this is my link uh, whose mass is given by capital uh, this is actually not uh, capital is small m and the angle is actually theta. Uh, 
uh, actually this angle is theta. Uh, so, this angle is theta, then I can write the, the dynamic equation of this is m l square theta double dot plus m g l sin theta equal to tau. My states are theta and x 2 is theta dot. Okay. This is my a priori knowledge. Okay. And the another a priori knowledge is I can say my tau is directly proportional to that is normal because second law of uh, New Newtonian mechanics. Okay. So, my acceleration is directly proportional to the applied force or, or the way you like to know whatever it is. Okay. So, they, um, if I write like this, if I know this kind of uh, uh, knowledge, this much knowledge, it is sufficient for me to generate rule base. This is the interesting thing. I do not have to know exact dynamics m l square theta double dot plus m g l sin theta equal to tau. I do not require this knowledge. I will show you just now. So, without knowing the complete dynamics of the system, the following statements can be made about the single link manipulator. The relevant state variables are x 1 equal to theta and x 2 equal to theta dot and x 2 dot which is actually theta double dot is proportional to tau. Now, let us take a Lyapunov function candidate v is half x 1 square plus x 2 square the time derivative v is v dot is if I uh, this is my Lyapunov function for the system I can always think. Then if I differentiate v dot is x 1 x dot plus x 2 x dot x 2 dot. So, x 1 dot is x 2. Okay. So, here x 1 dot is x 2 and I can say x 2 dot is proportional to tau and hence we can write qualitatively v dot red derivative is x 1 x 2 and x 2 and x 2 dot is replaced by tau approximately. And this is a qualitative statement not a quantitative statement because uh, we do not say that x 2 dot is exactly tau no it is just proportional to tau. But looking at this expression I can always say because there can be some constant here we do not worry about that. But now because I am interested in defining a rule base. I am now trying to do a qualitative analysis not a quantitative analysis. Had I been doing a quantitative analysis then I would have liked to put some kind of constant here, but since I am doing a qualitative analysis what is qualitative analysis I am trying to develop a rule base okay, fuzzy rule base from this equation from this because the objective is that my v dot red derivative of the Lyapunov function should be negative definite. So, how do I design a control a fuzzy controller rule base such that this expression should be qualitatively negative definite that is the objective. Okay. So, the what I should write uh, find f l c rules such that v dot is qualitatively negative definite this is the objective right v dot is x 1 x 2 plus x 2 tau and this can be made negative definite if the rule base is formed as follows you see if I say x 1 is negative and x 2 is negative so this quantity is positive if this is positive this has to be negative so tau has to be negative because x 2 is already sorry tau has to be negative because x 2 is negative so, x 1 is negative, x 2 is negative making this quantity positive and hence this quantity has to be negative and more than this okay, qualitatively. So, to make it negative since x 2 is already negative, so tau has to be positive. So, tau is positive big. Okay. So, this is one way the first rule is formed second rule is x 1 is positive and x 2 is positive that means, this quantity is again positive and this quantity has to be negative now because this is positive. To make it negative x 2 is already positive, so tau has to be negative. So, then tau is negative big. Okay. 
And similarly, if x 1 is negative and x 2 is positive, so then this quantity is negative. So, v dot requires to be negative. So, if uh, now my control action tau is 0, then also this is the negative. So, uh, then tau is 0, I can make tau is 0 because it is already negative. Similarly, x 1 is positive and x 2 is negative, then this is already negative. Hence, again tau can be made 0, my control action is 0. So, you see that how we are generating rules in such a way that rate derivative of the Lyapunov function v is a negative definite qualitatively. And once I formulate the rules, the next, point, next thing I have to do is that I have to find out the parameter, I have to optimize the parameters. So, parameter optimization is the next thing, but the most important the rule based formation. But this rule based, this process of rule based formation is very comprehensive and in fact is very interesting for fuzzy logic controller. And we will be having at least one class on this particular topic, how to generate rule base using Lyapunov concept. Okay. Now, the uh, parameter optimization, okay. uh, the parameter optimization is once I have formulated the rules okay, uh, is that uh, how do we fix the parameters or how do we tune the parameters like you know if I say my rules are for example, here if x 1 is negative, but when I say x 1 is negative, how do I define this x 1 is negative. Okay. So, this is my x 1, okay. I have to find the uh, fuzzy, uh, fuzzy f f I have to fuzzy for x 1. So, negative can be like this, this negative also can be like this. Okay or this is one type, this is another type. So, how because this is in from this side this is negative. So, how do I define this negative where where I should put for example, here the membership function for negative is here uh, is 1 and where in this particular case this is my membership function and maximum membership function 1 is here. right? for negative. Similarly, also for x 2. So, how do I define the fuzzification uh, uh, of each uh, variable such that uh, my performance is optimized. So, normally the first case is heuristically updated. We use the we take the help of heuristics some some kind of a trial and error method. Then the the nowadays the normal practice has been the genetic algorithms or evolutionary computation. Okay. So, what is what are the GS? The genetic algorithms they perform parallel search to find out optimal parameters where each local search does either a hill climbing or a gradient search. Okay. So, in this uh, lecture series, we will show three types of uh, one is simple genetic algorithm, another is uh, univariate marginal distribution algorithm, univariate marginal distribution algorithm and the another is differential evolution. All these three algorithms we will be covering to optimize the parameters of a physiology controller. Uh, now, we go to the uh, next part of our topic which is called Takagi Sugeno type of physiology controller okay. and uh, what we would be liking uh, here we will outline various uh, research issues that are involved uh, in designing uh, Takagi Sugeno type of actually this is not uh, uh, I would not say Takagi Sugeno type of physiology controller we will say FLC using TS fuzzy model. So, what is meaning of that we want to design a physiology controller using 
T s for the model Takagi Sugeno for the model. That means, any nonlinear systems can be represented by or approximated by T s for the model. Okay. So, in general Takagi Sugeno type of fuzzy logic control is an example of indirect adaptive control. The main steps are identifying the nonlinear systems in terms of T s fuzzy model, designing the controller based on the identified T s fuzzy model. So, we have a T s fuzzy model of the plant. I utilize the T s fuzzy model to design my controller. Okay. So, different control approaches using T s fuzzy model uh, we will be discussing uh, these three techniques. One is controller design with common input matrix, linear controllers using robust control approach, controller design using LMI technique. Okay. All these three uh, approaches are very, very much prevalent in control research. Uh, I will just give you an hint how these uh, different types of control research or what are the different control problems these three types of system would define means what I am saying is that uh, what is meaning of common input matrix and using that uh, controller design and linear controller using robust control these are all different control research issues. So, important works are in T s fuzzy model first of all Takagi and Sugeno they propose the T s fuzzy model the fuzzy model that is an IEEE transaction systems man cybernetic in way back 85, 1985, fuzzy identification of systems and its application to modeling and control. Okay. Uh, the other works that uh, are relevant in terms of uh, fuzzy controller using uh, T s model is one of our work on identification and stabilization of nonlinear plants using fuzzy neural network, IEEE conference on systems man cybernetics 2005, uh, that of work, work of Jack. Uh, in this work, the, in the second work, the, in this work, uh, we are talking about common input matrix. Jack stabilizing fuzzy systems model using linear controller. So, how do we, uh, in that has been, uh, that has uh, appeared in uh, transaction on Fuji systems in 1999. So, in this you see that uh, the linear controllers how to design linear controllers using Fuji TS model, but in this case the jacks approach the controller parameters uh, the controller gains are fixed. So, that means, he has a fixed gain controller. We have uh, another paper Prem, Indrani and myself. Uh, variable gain controller for nonlinear systems using T s fuzzy model that uh, is uh, in IEEE transaction systems main cybernetics part B in 2006. Uh, in this we are also designing linear controllers, but the gains are varying variable gain controller. The Tanaka he uh, proposed a, st a notion of stability and stabilizability of fuzzy neural linear control system using linear matrix in eukaryote approach LMI. LMI. So, that work appeared in IEEE transaction fuzzy system 1995. Lam, Leung and Tam a linear matrix inequality approach for the control of uncertain fuzzy system appeared in IEEE control system magazine 2002. You already know that this is of course, this is being solved using linear matrix inequality LMI. Uh, now, we will go a little deeper into understanding these problems. What are the control problems? How uh, the control problem is formulated for each case. Okay. So, let us consider a class of discrete uh, nonlinear dynamical systems described by x k plus 1 is f x k u k and y k is h x k UK. So, you see that this is a uh, completely nonlinear plant, this is a vector, these are vector vector equations. Uh, so, x is an n dimensional state vector, u is p dimensional input vector, y is m, m dimensional output vector. So, f is a vector and h is a vector. 
The above system can be effectively modeled by fuzzy merging of equivalent linear systems in different operating regions using Takagi Sugino fuzzy model. Okay. So, what does it mean? A T S fuzzy model is composed of R rules where jth rule has the following form. Okay. So, what you say if x 1 k is f 1 j and so forth x n k is f n j then my x k plus 1 is a linear uh, system a j x k plus b j u k and y k is c j x k plus d j u k where x is my states the systems n states x 1 to x n and uh, my rules uh, the, the, the rule here j uh, this is a jth rule. So, my I have R rules. So, given a current state vector x k and input vector u k, the T s fuzzy model infers x k plus 1 as x k plus 1 is sigma j equal to 1 to r mu z a j x k plus b j u k sigma j equal to 1 to r mu z. And what is this mu z? Mu z is actually uh, sigma nu uh, x i product i equal to 1 to n. Okay. So, mu j. So, the mu j is mu j x 1 mu j x 2 until mu j because when I say x 1 k is f 1 j given the crisp value of x 1 I get a specific membership function here. Similarly, given a crisp value of x n k I get a specific mu j x n right. So, the mu j associated with the entire rule is normally computed by product principle that I multiply each membership function and find out what is mu j. Okay. So, this is what is our mu j the product principle and y k is similarly mu j into associated with the rule um, rule j and uh, my y is c j x k plus d j u k um, and you sum over j equal to 1 to r r rules divided by sum j equal to 1 to r mu j. So, mu j i x i is the membership function of the fuzzy term f i j. Okay. This I explained. So, pay little attention here because we will be discussing more and more about this kind of structure because we will be going deeper into the control system aspect in this uh, particular model on fuzzy control. See that we had this rule and we have such r rules given this uh, r rules now we can write the overall fuzzy system the fuzzy dynamics that the nonlinear system which we described what was the nonlinear system if you look at here the nonlinear system was uh, x k uh, plus 1 is f x k u k and y k is h x k u k. Okay. So, this uh, <coughs> this is my nonlinear system and in 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 T s fuzzy model the nonlinear system would look like this the same nonlinear system will be represented as x k plus 1 and here instead of this nonlinearity we represent in a very convenient format which is a bar x k plus b bar u k it is looks linear it is not linear but looks like linear a bar x k plus b bar u k very convenient notation and y k is c bar x k plus d bar u k all right. So, where a bar equal to j equal to 1 to r sigma j a j b bar is j equal to 1 to r sigma j b j and c bar is sigma j c j and d bar is sigma j d j where sigma j is a normalized membership function which is mu j over sigma j equal to 1 to r mu j and uh, and you must know that from j equal to 1 to r sigma j is 1. 
this is always satisfies us always true okay so the overall system now this looks like linear but that's not linear this is nonlinear why because the overall system is nonlinear since a bar is a function of sigma j and this sigma j is a function of x k okay because the the sigma j is a function of uh, uh, defines the fuzzy membership function of the state variable x k. So, hence the system is nonlinear. Continuous time T s fuzzy model. The continuous time counterpart of overall fuzzy system is uh, just like we said this is discrete time. Similarly, the continuous time is also similar x dot is a bar x plus b bar u y is c bar x plus d bar u where again a bar is sigma i uh, sigma j sigma j a j j equal to 1 to r and b bar is sigma j b j j bar j equal to 1 to r same c bar is sigma j c bar c sigma j c j j equal to 1 to r d bar is sigma j. You should know that how we are finding this that we wrote down x dot is sigma mu j uh, a j x plus b j u i equal to 1 to r divided by sigma mu j i equal to 1 to r. So, when I divide this mu j by this quantity and represented by sigma j sigma j is mu j by sigma i equal to 1 to r mu, mu j then this representation becomes this representation would become as x dot is simply sigma j a j x plus b j u i equal to j equal to 1 to r. So, you can easily see now if I write in terms of x dot equal to a bar x. So, sigma j a j j equal to 1 to r which is j equal to 1 to r sigma j. Similarly, b j b bar is sigma j b j j equal to 1 to r sigma j b j. Now, the once uh, we understood be very clear that once I say T s fuzzy model then my system dynamics in continuous time looks like x dot equal to a bar x plus b bar u which looks very similar to linear system, but they are not linear because a bar is a function of sigma j and sigma j is a function of x hence this is nonlinear. Similarly, we also talked about discrete time system which also looks like linear, but they are not linear x k plus 1 is a bar x k plus b bar u k where a bar and b bar they are function of x k because they are function of sigma j. So, once I we exp we understood what is T s fuzzy model next is how do we derive T s fuzzy model. We can derive T s fuzzy model by direct system identification or by linearization of an actual nonlinear plant and I will just explain to you how do we linearize a plant. So, given a nonlinear system you see that x dot is f x u which is say x plus x square plus u and I want to linearize this. Okay. So, we can use Taylor's uh, expansion, but that I can only apply that when x equal to 0 and u equal to 0. If I am trying to linearize around x equal to 0 u equal to 0, then I can write uh, the expression as uh, this uh, this approximation as to a x plus b u, where a is dou f upon dou x and b is dou f upon dou u. Uh, if I am linearizing around x equal to 0 u equal to 0 means origin, but if it is not x not is not equal to 0, then uh, you can follow the book by systems and control by 
Jack, where there are other books also, there is a method how to linearize a nonlinear system around some point, other points which are not origin. So, this is there is a formula here given x dot equal to f x plus g x u, uh, we can find out the A, A matrix in that case A i transpose denote the ith row of A, where A i is computed by this formula okay, and B is g x naught. So, there are various ways you know you just have to learn how to linearize a nonlinear system around various points. Okay. This is uh, uh, this is not a difficult thing you just try to understand that we should be we are we can linearize systems nonlinear system around various operating points. Okay. So, if that is there so using two rules of T S Fossey model we can say because this is a scalar differential equation this is a scalar differential equation this equation x dot is x plus x square plus u we can write uh, two rules for this if x equal to 0 x dot is x plus u and if x equal to 1 x dot equal to 2 x plus u where the 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 corresponding the matrices a 1 is 1 and b 1 is 1 a 2 is 2 b 2 is 1 because this is all uh, uh, scalar values because the differential equation is scalar. Uh, mm, I just demonstrated this for a scalar differential equation you can also do it for vector differential equation in that case these will come matrices. Uh, this is one approach this is one approach the other the other approach is we we directly you know use fuzzy neural network from the input output data of the system using a fuzzy neural network, uh, we can also estimate these parameters very easily okay. using gradient descent algorithm or uh, various kinds of algorithm we can do that. Okay. Hmm. So, that is uh, that's, uh, means what we try to do in this case uh, is that we, uh, we represent a neural network where these rules are encoded in terms of neural network parameters. And then uh, the neural network parameters are updated uh, using input output data uh, <coughs> using gradient descent rule. Okay. So, we are now very clear that we can write any nonlinear system either using a discrete time T s Fossey model or a continuous time T s Fossey model. This is the discrete time T s Fossey model and this is my continuous time T s Fossey model okay, where we have already defined what is A bar, what is V bar. Now, now assume the system will have a common input matrix. When I say common input matrix this I am saying common input matrix means for all uh, fuzzy zone or for, for every rule the associated control matrix, because for each rule in T s Fossey model we have a linear system dynamics that is x dot is a i x plus b i u. And this control matrix b i if it is same for all rules then this is called common input matrix. So, this is what I say B j equal to B for all j B is a constant matrix. So, in that case this is called common input matrix. What is the utility of this common input matrix? Suppose we design individual linear controller for individual subsystems the control action corresponding to jth subsystem is denoted by u j k. Okay. So, what do we do if I have a common input matrix I compute for individual subsystems what is u j such that the individual subsystem is stable. And once I compute u j my control action u k which is a fuzzy blending of the all control actions that is sigma j u j k over j equal to 1 to r this ensures that individual subsystems are excited by their respective control input which is u j k. So, that means, if I am giving to the actual plant u k 
to the actual plant I am actuating the control signal U k means apparently that each individual subsystems if they are there in actual in reality they are being excited by the control axon user. This is a very important notion this is a theorem we will prove in coming one of the classes. Now, making use of common input matrix various theorems have been presented to make the overall system stable. In fact, we have done extensive work on this area. Uh, for example, suppose the individual control input has a form u j k is minus k is x k for discrete time T s fuzzy model the overall system can be made stable if there exists a common input matrix B for all subsystem the individual gain matrices k j s are designed such that a j s equal to a j minus b k j have singular values less than unity. If this is the case then we can say my T s fuzzy model my controller uh, which is which is which is this one my controller where u j k is designed by this formula where u j k is minus k j x k okay. and then my system is stable provided a j minus b k j have singular values less than unity for each subsystem. How many subsystems you have? Now, you have r rules that means, you have r subsystems and for r subsystems each of these quantities they have maximum singular values if less than unity then the system is stable the proof and other things we will show in the following classes. Similarly, uh, another example also another interesting results about this common input matrix is for continuous time T s fuzzy model the overall system can be made stable if there exists a common input matrix B for all subsystems. The individual gain matrices K j s are designed such that this this is called Hermitian parts of the matrices A j uh, A j dash. So, if this have this term have stable eigen values okay, where a z dash is a z minus b k z. Okay. So, that is if I am designing a controller u z is minus k z x and my overall controller is sigma z u z sigma z equal to 1 to r. Okay. This is my overall controller for a continuous time system then uh, the system is stable provided uh, the Hermitian part of this a z s which is this one this Hermitian part and this has stable Eisen values. You can uh, this common input matrix uh, you can uh, uh, look at Takagi and Sugeno fuzzy identification of systems and application to modeling and control you get the idea of T s fuzzy model and the common input matrix you can get the idea from this paper on identification and stabilization of nonlinear plants using fuzzy neural network IEEE conference on systems main cybernetics in 2005. And now we go to the linear controller using robust control method. In this the T s fuzzy model is written in terms of single linear plant and rest of the linear models are expressed as a disturbance to this. The norm bound on the disturbance is computed based on the norm bound controller is designed which makes the overall system Lyapunov stable. What does it mean? I have a ith rule as I said earlier if x 1 t is f 1 i and so forth x n t is f n i then x dot t is a i x t plus b i u t and mu i is the associated membership function with the ith rule. Then we saw that x dot t the overall uh, the fuzzy dynamics x dot is sigma i a j sorry sigma j a j x t plus b j u t where sigma j is defined like this. Then this this overall uh, fuzzy model T s model can be expanded x dot is as as a nominal plant a x t plus b u t and these are we can say disturbance term and this disturbance term can be again further categorized into three categories uh, this is uh, uh, b h 2 u t b h 1 x t and f x t and this two takes care of this part and this one takes care of this part right. And then we define norm bound on these quantities by defining norm bound we can design the controller 
for around this nominal plant and there are various methods how to design controller. We will not discuss detail. So, computing the norm bounds of F H 1 and S 2 controllers are designed that makes the T S posi model Lyapunov stable. Okay. So, this is the problem formulation. What is the problem formulation? Now, given a T S posi model express this T S posi model as x dot t uh, uh, around a nominal plant and then disturbance storm. Okay. And then using the robust control theory and Lyapunov stability theorem we can design controller. Okay. So, for reference we have a paper in IEEE transactions systems main 780 2006. Jack also has a paper on this stabilizing fuzzy system models using linear controllers IEEE transaction fuzzy system 1999. You can refer these papers for more and we, of course, we will be discussing on this aspect in the in this class later. Now, uh, we talked about input common input matrix, we talked about robust control theory how to design controller using T S fuzzy model. Now, we will talk about LMI technique. Again in LMI technique we as we said the rule is given uh, given rule i. So, we have a T S fuzzy model this is our T S fuzzy model as usual. You remember this because this is this you, you should by heart this model T S fuzzy model means x dot t is sigma i equal to 1 to r sigma i a i x t plus b i u t this should be by hearted because by because we have to be very clear uh, when we design a control system the model should be very clear to us what this what does it mean and this is not a linear model although looks like linear this is a nonlinear model this approximates the system the nonlinear system x dot is f x and u this nonlinear system it any nonlinear system it approximates. Okay. Now, think that given this T S posi model for each uh, rule for each subsystem I compute a control action u t which is minus k i x t. If I do that and then my overall control action u t is given as sigma i k i x t i equal to 1 to r minus. Okay. So, individual control action was u i was minus k i x t for individual and then overall was this one. Then the closed loop system becomes the closed loop system is a i x t minus b i into u uh, sorry plus b i into u. So, u is minus at this quantity. So, minus will come here and sigma i k i x t k a k sorry this is j. So, uh, sigma j k j x t j equal to 1 to r if you put this quantities like this after simplification you get this quantity x dot t is sigma i square h i i where h i i is a i minus b i k j sorry a i minus b i k i and 2 sigma i sigma j h i j plus h j i by 2 x t where h i j is a i minus b i k j. So, we can rewrite this expression in this form and once we do that and then we take a Lyapunov function because we have to analyze uh, this particular x dot equal to we can write this term plus this term into x t. So, I want to investigate stability of this system the best way to investigate stability of the system you take a Lyapunov function v equal to x transpose p x and v dot is x dot transpose p x plus x transpose p x dot and x dot is given by this expression we the actual dynamics x dot t is given by this expression. So, if I replace x dot here I get v dot finally, in this particular format you see if I if I put that I get sigma i square x transpose h i i transpose p plus p h i x and similarly here I can write x transpose h i j plus h j i by 2 transpose p p h i j h j i j by 2 x. So, what does it mean? So, you know that b dot has to be negative definite that means, this quantity has to be negative definite. So, also these quantities have to be negative definite. So, that gives us the condition 
that H i i transpose p plus p H i has to be negative definite and similarly, this H i j plus H j i 2 transpose p plus p H i j H j i by 2 also has to be negative definite. Okay. And this is also can be negative or equal to 0, because we have already said that this to be negative definite. So, the above expressions are basic stability conditions and these are actually LMI equations, linear matrix inequality. You see that this is a linear matrix inequality equation. Okay. The controller parameter k i s are hidden in these expressions. This can be further re expressed in different suitable forms and the controller parameter k i s can be obtained by solving these expressions. The various methods we will not be discussing now. I am just presenting how to stabilize uh, the fuzzy controller, okay, uh, state feedback controller. So, using linear matrix inequality. So, what you saw now we had uh, in the beginning we, we said uh, individual control action u j is k j x then we said u is sigma j u j j equal to 1 to r, where sigma j is the normalized membership function associated with rule j. So, this is my overall control action u. So, if I give my this overall control action, then I said that my overall uh, uh, system dynamics closed loop, this is closed loop system dynamics. becomes like this and that results using Lyapunov stability theory, theory to linear matrix inequality equations. If I solve uh, them properly, I find out finally, what should be my k j, this is minus k j. Okay. Similarly, for a discrete time case, we can follow the same method, the linear matrix inequality equations would look like this, h i i transpose p h i i minus p less than 0 and this quantity is less than equal to 0. Okay. So, this uh, gives you an idea how the T s Fuzzy model based controller can be designed using LMI. Some of the important work on this Wong, Tanaka, Griffin an approach to fuzzy control of nonlinear system stability and design issues IEEE transaction fuzzy system 1996, Kim and Kim stability analysis and synthesis for an affine fuzzy system by LMI and ILMI discrete case IEEE transaction systems men 700 2001 and Lam and Leong and Tam a linear matrix inequality approach for control of uncertain fuzzy system IEEE control system magazine 2002. Uh, the other works were Tanaka, Ikeda, Wang fuzzy regulators and fuzzy observer relaxed stability conditions and LMI based designs IEEE transaction fuzzy system May 1998. Kim and Lee new approaches to relaxed quadratic stability condition of fuzzy control system, IEEE transaction fuzzy system October 2000. Fang, Liu and Kao, Hung and Lee a new LMI based approach to relaxed quadratic stabilization of TS fuzzy control system, IEEE transaction fuzzy system June 2006. Okay. So, finally, we end this class with saying that what we did in this class that we had an overview of different fuzzy control systems. We said that fuzzy rule base can be generated as using the concept of P i P d P i d type of response or using the notion of Lyapunov stability concept. Tuning of fuzzy controller parameters through optimization using genetic algorithms, univariate marginal distribution algorithm or differential evolution. So, any kind of evolutionary computation approach we can optimize the F L C parameters. And when we express a nonlinear system using T s Fuzzy model, the controllers can be designed in three different cases when we have each subsystem has a common input matrix or in a generic case we use robust control theory to design the controller or we can also use linear matrix inequality uh, approach to solve uh, the, uh, the, the to design the fuzzy controller. Thank you very much.